My name is Paul. I'm 31. I'm based out of Dallas, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. 31 years old in Dallas, Texas. So what do you do for a living, 31? I do uh, IT for hedge funds. Um, So yeah, I'm thinking about money a lot of the time, just indirectly. And so I've been trying to get a hold of my finances over the last year or so, and I'm slowly getting there, but I still have a lot of work. Oh, was there <laughs> was the 20s just like an F around period for yourself? I yes, uh, I made some mistakes, uh, especially my mid 20s. I had moved to Austin. I started working in IT down here. Yeah, uh, and then I decided I wanted to like go into business for myself uh, more, and I was doing a lot of VR stuff. Uh, and I got a little addicted to VR, and I was trying to make that more of my income. Okay, but it didn't quite make up the difference for what I But you kept up your spending or something? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. If anything, it kind of increased for a bit. Really? So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so in your IT role, I see... uh, I'm assuming this this is your pay, correct, that you sent here? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 2023. Is this 2023 so far? uh, No, that's 2023. What's going to happen? Yes. Okay. So... Total award, as it says, because you have your salary, base salary of Mm -hmm. $69,386, but there is a bonus Mm -hmm. of $1,700 and an additional $500, 401k match. Okay, cool. uh, Of Mm 2,843. So that's what you put in, and then they match that? Yes, and that's what I'm doing right now, doing a 4% match. So the total comp there is 74,429, but we do have health benefits of 6,436, dental benefit 434, vision benefit 101, life insurance 30 or 350, cell phone which is that's pretty nice 1,080 and a lunch that's also quite nice 4,518. Is that lunch that if you buy it they'll reimburse you or is that just the lunch that's provided at the office? Uh, we have like a DoorDash order that we do every day and but if I miss it or if I'm out on site or with a client or something like that, then um, I can expense it. So a lot of my like eating outs tend to be from that. Okay. Um, so they're all they're I'm gonna get that back. Uh, I actually have like two months worth of expenses mm-hmm. that I'm getting at like the end of this month. Okay. So, okay. Cool. Yeah. Now, what is your take home? Bi-weekly, semi-monthly, what is your take home? Uh, not including expenses, just because I you know, you don't want to count. Well, like, oh, okay, you know, like For like sure. my cell phone. Just what, yeah, what uh, hits your account? To 2300 Very good. Is that bi-weekly? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the uh, 15th and 30th. Fifth, okay, so yeah. semi-monthly. Yeah. Yes. You said 2300 Yes. Beautiful. So we got solid... 4,600 hitting your account on a monthly basis. Beautiful. So before we just go into your accounts, we, we kind of already talked about it. We'll talk about it again, but I want to hear from your perspective. Uh, where do you think your finances stand today? And what score would you give it a zero out of 10? <laughs> They're really bad. I would, I would put myself at like a two being generous to, oh, okay. to me. I yeah, I think it's really bad. So I expected myself. Why is it so bad? Growing, up, especially young twenties, uh, when I started making money, and every year it just felt like more and more money because I was like regularly. I never really was like ready for it to like for me to make less money, and so I think that's where like you know I was still going on trips and still doing th- with things with my now ex girlfriend, and there were a lot of mistakes made. Uh, and so I have literally just been trying to dig myself out of that hole for the last couple of years. How's the digging out of the hole been? Not as fast. Why? Because continued spending. Uh, my new girlfriend moved in with me this last year. I went to like a wedding. Uh, this things kind of add up, you know, late thirties, all my friends are getting married and life's happening and well you're 31 though yeah i know that's, that's why i'm trying to get 30s. it yeah okay, yeah i'm still i'm trying to get the hang of it though you know like i want to be ready for my late 30s and i just don't feel like i'm there i thought that by my 30s i would be like a millionaire or more and uh i'm guessing you are not not yet so okay <laughs> well let's look at so i think you have some checking and savings here with current yeah? yes okay so it looks like you're ending balance for your checking was four hundred and ninety dollars starting with sixteen dollars. Yes. I spend my biggest problem is that I I'll still have money. Like I'll still I'll have like a little bit of money that goes to like my cash app or something. 
that I'm usually using to, I, I keep trying to spend all of my like work fi- uh, uh, money or like charges and stuff off of like my uh, cash app or something, but it's just not been working out super great. So uh, yeah, I have been spending way too much. And a lot of that is because I'm paying off my bills and debts. Like a lot of it does go to that. That's good. Um, Starting I'm, with, I mean, but do you have like reoccurring payments and automatic withdrawals and stuff like that? Yes. And so starting with seventeen dollars is risky. Yes, that's my big, well. My current account can't go negative, or I mean, it can't go like okay. It has like a so negative the payment balance, will be declined. Yeah, exactly. And so I always make it like I pay all of my bills first after I get paid, and then I kind of just let me guess. You don't budget. No, not well. I tried, but so it's if not you're trying easy. to get out of this situation these last couple of years, I assume you've educated yourself on some things how to get out of situations. Why have you declined to take on a budget? My life keeps every time I try to set a budget, my something in my life changes. And so you change the budget. Though. Yeah. Yes. The budget adapts. That's where I to struggle. a certain point. I mean, you don't want it to control you. You want to control the budget, but obviously, life things do happen and expenses do happen that are out of control and you out of your control, and you just adjust the budget around there. But if we're not budgeting, then we're not taking control of our money. Then we're not attacking the debt in the best ways possible. Because my month to month keeps changing so much, that's why I just what changes on a month to month. Uh, having to well, for for me, so like my my girlfriend moved in six months ago. Okay. Um, then uh, like her parents were visiting for uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. And we had What's uh, this? it. It was, they like drove down and then, you know, like I had to kind of take care of them while they're here. And my girlfriend hasn't been working yet. So, uh, it's kind of just, but you put this float. in the budget. If, if you know your grandparents are coming or her grandparents are coming in or wherever it was and, uh, some extra money needs to go to that for whatever reason, you take it from a different category. You take it from like a fun category. You take it from this, you allocate. Yeah. I just don't really, yeah, you're right. I just don't have those categories. Uh, I'll have bills and not bills. Well, maybe we'll build you a budget, but again, uh, even ending with 400 with what you make is kind of a bummer. And then we immediately come on here with like my fresh tools and 11 labs and Patreon and discord and Hooters. Hooters. That was actually my girlfriend. Well, that's yeah. Okay. But a wonder <laughs> share and blizz and bam lab, uh, bamboo discord, labs. bamboo oh, yeah. labs, yeah, that's a bad one. wonder share Hooters again, uh, blizzard, and an Apple reoccurring thing and racetrack info servers.com or info servers.com link tree P strike Dave Inc. Dave Inc. Dave Inc. Tundra KFC Tundra DT retail sweet hub bakery and Apple uh, subscription or payment of some kind of $97 and sweet Hut, Bakery and Cafe, Steam Games, another Apple Bill, Electro- Microelectronic, 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 Uber, Coursera. That or, could or be Coursera. good. Yeah, Coursera. That's actually comp by Certification. Because I get a $1,000 okay. like yeah. annual. And that's fine. We can excuse budget. that one. But then we're Ubering and another Apple payment and an Apple payment and going and getting some coffee and an Apple payment and Steam Games and an Apple payment and getting some coffee again and getting Raisin Canes and Racetrack and Racetrack and Steam Games and Raisin Canes and Apple Bill and Apple Bill and an auto charge from NTTA, Apple Bill, Microsoft, Microsoft, uh, Unity, Microsoft, Zap Solutions, uh, Audible, Video, TV, OD, Z, K, D, E, N, G, whatever that is, and NTTA again, Bitcoin uh, came in actually, so you sold some Bitcoin that came in, DT Retail, and another Apple. What what are all these Apple things, dude? It hundreds sounds and hundreds really, of dollars. Uh, well, okay. So some of those were actually... So I just got a new phone uh, a couple of months ago because my old one was... I had had it for like four years. Okay. And, uh, and because my work comps most of my... Uh, so how much bill. of that was actually comped, uh, realistically? So, well, so $90 a month is what my... Uh, work that comps. was like two of the Apple bills would be ninety bucks. Yeah, yeah. Everything it's, else was just like it's brrr, like brrr, a little half. And then because well, 
it's making excuses, but because like my work comps my bill, then I use that as an excuse to get my iPhone. Um, but a lot of our clients use iPhones, and so I also just wanted. Yeah, it's, well, I do support. Blue bubble. So yeah, it's and a lot of the like I actually don't drink coffee, so all, all the like the coffee toll, especially the Toll Hill ones, uh, those are actually don't just me girlfriend. getting. No, 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 no. Those are lunch. Those okay. are those but are going to okay, be okay. So it's work. still food. Yeah. Okay. But how much again? How much of that was actually count by work? Because this is like every single day, every single day. Uh, on a monthly basis, every single day. Any of, most of the food related ones, except for like Hooters and like uh, when we went out for like uh, my anniversary and stuff. So, mm. and we end up getting a lot of gift cards from mainly my girlfriend's parents. So we use that as an excuse to go out. And so that like you know, eighty dollars was probably a lot more than eighty dollars actually. If you want an excuse to do something right now, you have an excuse to uh, go hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. That's a ridiculous amount of spending. Even if half of that is count plus to say, that's still a ridiculous amount of spending. Yeah. And ridiculous. All those Apple bills were like, they were adding up. They weren't like the few dollar Apple bills. These were like 40, 50, 60. Like it was crap. And even yeah. if work is comping a lot of stuff, we're still you know, spending a lot when the grandparents are in. We're doing all this. And I don't even know what the debt looks like. But if we're trying to get out of debt, obviously, we're not getting out of debt if we're starting with like zero dollars and we're ending with only a few hundred dollars and everything else is just flooded out of the account. And let me guess, some of the work comp came in for the previous month, right? During that time? Um, not in the last. I haven't, I haven't actually gotten any of the work stuff since January. Okay. The end of January. So okay. never- next one's going to be February and March. That's still absolutely insane. And then guess what? The way we're ending, the way we're ending, what are we doing here with this touchable savings? Because it starts with 50 cents. Uh, but then 388 went in, 388 went out. That's me trying to save money and then having, like so you, I had to buy new tires. And I know that's, it's, yeah. It's, so you're trying to save money and you would have been able to if you didn't eat out and spend all those Apple bills and just use that for the new tires instead. And you could yes. have kept this $400 in there instead of immediately having to take it out and ending your savings with a dollar and 69 cents. That's right. And I just don't have any like rules in place. Like Why? Even, I just We need to get down to I'm the I'm not good at setting rules why. for myself. Okay. Yeah. That's, I, I'm do very have, good at following rules. Do you have I'm a lack really, of discipline? Yeah. Uh, Self-discipline. Self-discipline. Uh, I, like, I was in the Army for a while, so, like, I, self-discipline is the lacking part, but, like, because, like, you know, I'd have, like, a day off or something, and then I'm not doing whatever, I'm, uh, you know, my, my routine is broken, and so when that happens, I, yeah. Well, that makes me nervous for the future. Yeah, me too, and so, especially because now uh, I really want to save to be able to, like, you know, uh, get engaged and do life things. Well, before we get into the debt, I mean, we're like, okay, well, I hope I was a million by, millionaire by 35, but I see your portfolio is here just under $5,000. Yes. Is that your reti- only retirement? Yes, that's my 401k. And then I have about $500 currently in Bitcoin still, and then uh, 3000 pure coin, but I don't know what that's worth right now. So I don't even know what that one is, but... Okay, so we're a, we're a couple dollars away from a million dollars. Yeah, just a couple. Yeah. Alrighty, what is this? Uh, what I can't see is this 401k. What do you have it invested in? I just honestly select like the basic like option that they had when I set it up. I set it up like back in... Uh, What's the basic option? Is it like a target retirement fund? Yes. Okay, those can be good. Yeah. Um, I... Haven't looked at it since. I just was selecting something while I was at work. And if it's a target retirement fund, I'm happy with. What I'm not happy with is it sounds like over 50% of your portfolio with that Bitcoin and the other coin, over 50% of your portfolio is in bulk. Like, yeah. So, well, well, not really. The I would say the majority is that. Well, you said 5,000 was in. No. Oh no no no! The this 5,000 pure coin. It's I don't actually pay attention to what it's worth because it it. Uh, it, I have it staking, so it just returns like 5% annually, and it's been doing really well. I've made good money off. I'll, it's one of those funds where like it's basically my emergency fund, but I don't want it to be. Uh, and whenever I need money, I'll take... It's not an emergency fund. It's You're right. Yeah, you're right. It's it, it's really not, but I've been treating it like one. Okay, so either way, I mean, let's just flat out come out and say, if we're being honest, retirement for 31 is in a really bad shape. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Whew. All right. Next. Well, now we can get into the deaths, I guess. Yes. So this first one I have here is a 2017 Nissan Versa. What I do not have with it is the total balance. Yeah, uh, the total balance right now is $7,065.71. Okay. How much longer till full repayment if doing minimum monthly? I don't even know. What was your know. term? It was, uh, I want to say 72, and I know you're going to hate me when, for that. Yeah, um, that sucks. When did you take it out? Uh, 2019. Ah, crap. So. Okay. Yep. So what is the interest on here? 15.5. Five seven percent. That is some death. Yes, I know. That is some death. I was Jeez, in a tough spot. Why did you not refinance uh, in like the, you know, 2020, 2021 when the interest rates are like zero? I should have, but my credit was also really bad. Was and it? Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't going to get much better. So immediately what stresses me out here is, okay, we're making a normal payment. We're making a normal payment. And it looks like your minimum monthly payment is... 157 yeah yes but as early as just uh just over a month ago now late fee assessment yes and we keep going back late fee assessment from the previous month there's more the farther you go sf fee paid and we have nsf fee assessment and late fee assessment late fee assessment late fee assessment late fee assessment Late fee assessment, late fee assessment. It's just, it just keeps going. The further we go back, late fee assessment. Late. How possibly are you having late fee assessments on what is such a small payment? A small payment on your income. Yeah, and that was for the reason that you noticed earlier where my account would go basically too low. In and time. you're still doing so, that, though. Yeah. Um, it's Over the last few months, I've gotten better about it, but... Again, you started the month we're in with like nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, what, what is we're getting better? Actually, at? that was last month, technically. Right okay. now, last right now in my account, I have sixteen. Yeah, but what is it going to end at though? After all bills and everything is said and done, what is the next month going to start at? I want it to start at higher than a thousand. Because at some point, I mean, you at some point within the month that we looked at, I mean, you probably had a couple thousand bucks in there. Yeah. So what it's at right now doesn't really matter. What does what does it end up at? And of, of course we can just keep going. Late fee, yeah, late fee, late gets, fee, late 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 fee. Yeah. It just it's endless and there's just pages of late fees and late fees. This is endless late fees. So this is we're not making and this was this so freaking recent too. So yeah. freaking recent. And your minimum monthly payment, correct me, again, is only $157. We can't be late on $150,000, bringing in $4,600 a month after 401k contributions and after um, taxes and everything. We, we can't be doing that. Yeah. I agree. Now, I know you sent me your credit karma, but I hate the printed off version. Can you just pull it up on your phone? Yes. So I can take a look at it. Sure. But it is nice that you sent it because we can put it up on screen. So I actually was not looking at it for a long time, uh, which probably isn't a surprise. Um, if you want to... Yeah. There you go. Uh, until oh, yeah. I actually got, like, this in the mail, and then I didn't even know where it was from because it's, like, from Sprint, something that was in collection. I've, I've got, like, two things in collections that are literally, like, nothing and need to just get paid off. Why haven't you just paid them off? Um, that one, I, I actually wanted to ask you... If because I just got this, I literally just got it like the other day. Um, they offer like a cheaper pay, like settlement one or whatever. Is it on here? Your credit score is five forty nine. Yes, it's bad. It's really bad with a ninety eight percent payment history. Yeah, your auto loan. Duh. Five derogatory marks. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. AFNI, that's, I think that. Yeah. 86 um, bucks. I mean, just write a check today. Just write yeah, I'm a going check to. today. I'm, I'm, I'm literally. Just pay it. Rent recovery solutions. Apparently, I owed my last apartment money, and I didn't know. Okay, $158. So, yeah. Write a check today. Uh, yeah, I am. Now, the this is where this becomes more compli complicated. Just is so much money. Yeah. We have 
collections number one, dude, 1,690, $1. But we have collections number two at $2,679. And then we have collections number three, Midland Credit Management of $13,993. I think that's the most I've seen someone in collections what is that? What is? It? What are either of those possibly for? Uh, that was my twenties. I uh, so while I was in the army, I got some credit uh, with the military star, which like mm-hmm. it's still on there. But um, that gave me like really, really. Good, I had like eight hundred something for a while, uh, and uh, and while I um, had good credit, I kept spending it. What were you spending it on? What was this going towards? What was it? A lot of it was probably a lot of travel trips, uh, being stupid, uh, paying for things for my friends. So why haven't why have you done anything to these? Because the the sad crap is the oldest one here is only two years old. So you're gonna have to wait years and years and years and years for any of these to potentially fall off your thing. And I have yeah. a feeling you want to do things before then. Yes, that require crap. And I actually had it was actually worse. Um, but I had already gotten some stuff off. There was actually another ten grand or so Jeez. that I've paid off over the last two years. Good news is your car is currently on time. Everything else is. F- yeah, I got hit with those late fees, but otherwise, my car's been like my. I can't because I can't. I live in Texas. I can't like not have a car. So unfortunately, sad fact. Yeah, is the. So you have eighteen thousand six hundred seven dollars in collections total. Death. Okay, and military star. Do you spend on it? No. Good. I wouldn't. Yeah, I have it. It's the, the thing. It's locked away in a safe. Literally, do not touch. Your debt comes out to twenty five thousand six hundred seventy two dollars. God, that hurts to hear. <laughs> but your minimum monthly payment is like nothing. Yeah, I I really have no excuses for not having things paid on time. So well, we can get your we can when we're building out your budget here that you should actually stick to. We can we have more exact numbers than we typically do, which I appreciate. Your rent is a thousand eighty six. Mm-hmm. Electric one hundred eighty eight. Sewer thirty seven. Water twenty four. Gas twenty. Trash fifteen. Pest control three. Stormwater admin three, trash admin three, stormwater 182, and it looks like you got a little refund for the previous month's gas or something, potentially. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So. Yeah, my rent is actually really, really cheap for the area I live in. So I'm very lucky. Um, A lot of that was actually because the apartment I was supposed to move into originally had really bad water damage and I showed up the day of to move in and they put me in the wrong they gave me a new apartment but the apartment that they gave me was actually just a one bedroom so then they upgraded me again and so I'm expecting my rent to go up too later this year they haven't uh, indicated what it will go up by not yet um, I know from one of my neighbors that they raised theirs uh, by three hundred dollars so um, but theirs was also higher than it than mine is. Mine's, I'm not sure, but I need to talk to them. I've got another six or seven months, I think, until my lease is up. Um, but I want to talk to my leasing office well beforehand and know what it's going to be. Sure. One thousand three hundred eighty-two point five for rent and utilities. Which okay, that's that's right on that thirty percent cusp of where rent and utilities should be. So you're right on it. So if it goes up, your income either needs to go up or you need to move, because that's as much as you can afford. What's your internet on a monthly basis? Uh, it's currently a hundred dollars, I believe. Phone bill, uh, one hundred forty, with ninety of it covered. Oh, sick. so yeah, technically fifty. Yeah. Cell phones financed. Uh, yes, it is. Then again, your car minimum monthly payment, one fifty seven. Yes, three 
these are collections that are on minimum payments, but we got to save up large chunks of money to be able to negotiate the settlement. And that's my problem. I'm really bad at saving those large chunks. I'm really good at little bits. We'll, we'll um, get there. But we'll get yeah. There. We're, we're going we're to we're put a plan together. Okay. Car insurance. Uh, it's, that's also pretty expensive. I think, so I have USAA. It's currently around 300 something. It's more than your car payments. Yes. Double your car payment. It is. Gross. Okay. I'm going to do groceries at 300. Why doesn't your girlfriend work? She just, well, so she can't drive and, uh, she doesn't have a car and, uh, she had a job before she moved in, uh, but she's from Pennsylvania. And uh, so how it kind of worked was we had been planning for her to move down here and she was applying to some places, but we had the date set for her to move in um, after the wedding that I went to uh, because she was coming with me. So it just made the most sense financially for us to come back together. Um, and so she's been trying to find a job for the last six months, uh, but hasn't had a lot of luck with remote work or anything that's like really super close by. Um, but So you're covering soon. groceries? Yes. Um, I also cover, uh, she has a credit card payment uh, that's $69 a month. Why are you so. paying for that? She needs to be a big girl and go get a job. She can work at a coffee shop. You shouldn't be paying for that. Yeah. Um, there's actually a coffee shop she's applied to a couple of times specifically that's kind of close. Uh, there's just, she hasn't had any luck getting into coffee here. shops. Does she have a bad resume? Uh, I don't know. I've never actually seen her resume, really. Uh, she's worked at. Uh, Tart, oh, it was, no, so, so she's worked at Walmart, um, uh, CVS, CVS Pharmacy, and I think she's had a couple other jobs, but her last job was uh, at a pharmacy. Are you okay? Yeah. You good? Want tissues? Actually, yeah. Could we get some tissues, please? Yeah. That's okay. Talk me through it. What's happening? Very natural to cry. There is no issues with it whatsoever. I am a crier myself. Yeah, I had a feeling I would. That's the problem. But, I mean, it's really just like hearing it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sorry. But, um... It's a natural reaction when everything gets laid out for the first time to show what the full situation is. It is very natural for that to build up into a situation where the, the emotional over, uh, response is overwhelming. But in a way, that's a good thing because it is showing that you recognize what the situation looks like. And once the situation is recognized what it looks like, we can then come together and do what is necessary to make sure that the emotions you're feeling now of the overwhelmingness of the situation is never presented to you again because we get out of it and we make your life so much better. Agreed? Oh, yeah, I agree. And it, it's like every time I spend money, it hurts. It, I... <sighs> Do you feel like a compulsionary almost addiction to the way you spend money on certain things? Well, I'm, so I went a good while um, not really having. So like, especially while I was like doing like um, like working my business stuff because uh, I was doing uh, 3D like level design and um, and uh, IT work. Uh, and so I just had contract agreements. And uh, it was going pretty well. It was just very, very demanding for the uh, for the amount of work. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I just I couldn't afford to like grow, but I also necessarily like I got in this habit of just pay everything I can when I have the money, and then uh -huh. anything else you just like blow. Yeah, yeah. So how much is her credit card bill? Uh, Sixty nine dollars a month right now. What's her balance? I have no idea. So you don't even know how long it'll last? She won't tell me. You shouldn't pay it if she won't tell you. 
this, that's not something I want to tell you while you're in this situation, yeah. but I mean, that's something you need to hear. If you are paying it for her and you have no insight into it, that is, it sucks to say you being taken advantage of as much as you could be. Yeah. Really. And I mean, I see, like, I want to have a life with her, so I, I see a lot of, like, you know, everything is like us stuff, and I think, you know, she's trying to, like, protect me from it, so it's not just stressing me out more. But it stresses me out so you much. You need to know what it is. You need to sit down and say, if I'm helping you with this, and if we have a future together, then we need to be on the same page. In order to be on the same page, I need to know what this looks like. I would say that you don't even pay for it in general because it's not it's, it's not your responsibility. And she does need to put some big girl pants on and get even the crappiest job in the world just temporarily so she can work her way out of it. And I'm willing to have that conversation with her on a financial audit. That being said, when it comes to your situation, which is why we are here, yes, you shouldn't pay for it either way. But you a billion percent shouldn't even come close to putting a penny towards it unless you know the balance on it. If she is still spending money on it, that's my main concern. What if she's racking up more debt on it and you're just paying for it? And, uh, and of course, interest rate and stuff, that's important to know as well. Yeah. But you shouldn't be touching it if she's still spending on it. Yeah, that you should like run away as quick as you can. Uh, if she is still spending on it and you're paying for it and she doesn't agree to stop spending on it, but she at least needs to let you know how much it is. But that's scary. I need you to know that is almost disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, um, I expected that she was going to find some work by now. Um, but um, really, it's just... Like, it's not that she doesn't make some money and doesn't try, and when she has it, she will pay it on her own. Um, and a lot of it is really just that like she does 3D modeling stuff too. She like she's really good at um, Blender and stuff like that. So um, she'll she's been trying to make assets that she can sell, um, which it can be. It can be good. Let's yeah. think about that as a side hustle until that's fully sustainable. She yeah. needs to have something that. Because I'm guessing you buy all her groceries right now. Yeah, right now I pay for everything. You pay for. Much. Okay, I there is more to know before making a concrete decision. Or a concrete statement, but I need to be as honest as possible and let you know that I am instinctively thinking that you are being taken advantage of here. And, and I mean, yeah, I, I can understand why you, you know, like that's like the immediate thought, especially, you know, just laid out. It's not really that. It's more of like, you know, she's had health problems in the past. And, but also, like, I see a lot of like similarities, you know, similarities between like, um, like my own parents and like or like my or my parents relationship and mine and my parents were never good with money um so uh like i'm trying to fix that mistake before it's like worse i guess well the start of that is just flat out saying hey sorry we're not married we do not have that legally binding thing so i will take care of the rent because it's my apartment but i cannot take care of your debt if we're married that's a different story I shouldn't be taking care of your groceries because what we can do is have a combined grocery fund that we do as a household Mm -hmm. uh, and we can, you know, buy groceries from there. But I cannot take care of everything because I myself am trying to get out of a pretty dire situation to set us up for success in general if we have a future. So either long story short, no. Yeah. The the plan is then that once she gets a job that we would both take. Once she gets a job is yeah. the thing, though. And I bet if I actually had true insights into her, and I bet she tells you, oh, I planned here, I planned here. If I, if I had true insights into it, and if I were a betting person, I would say that she's half right now. She, uh, I mean, yeah, she definitely hasn't been putting, like, well, I mean, I don't want to make this about, like, you know, like my girlfriend and stuff. No, it shouldn't be. But, but there is the attachment of you paying for all her stuff. This isn't about her, but there is you paying for all her stuff, so she does connect in that way. Okay. But we, yeah. Yeah. We don't know. We don't need to go into her further, but it is important for you to know that you should not be taking care of all this stuff. Yeah, I, I just, I love her, and I, you know, I want to support her too. Of course, of course. And sometimes the best support, as we've seen on this show as well, is by kind of telling it how it is. You know, she won't be able to financially support herself. Uh, and contribute to the relationship in a way uh, if she if that's the agreement that you guys want if she is not actually going out making some monies and taking care of yeah I'm gonna have a 
talk with her and we're gonna Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna just let her know it's just for starters that I would like to know how much she owes and if she spends on it still yes you should have access to be able to see a monthly sit down on that credit card okay if you're paying for it that's a yeah that's a good idea she probably gets an email statement I would assume so yeah she get we I, I already like you know like for like our mail like when we have mail come in I have that stuff forwarded to her and same thing for like um, uh, my uh, like whenever rents do that kind of thing so she knows what the utilities are how old is she uh, she is 23 right now okay so okay. yeah Okay, so we have that $69 going for it. I'm going to, for now, and she needs to get a job as quick as you can, but right now I'm going to say her food budget is $400. we will okay. do that for the household. If she wants it to be more than that for you guys, I mean, you're going to be eating like ramen and crap and hot dogs. Yeah. And if she wants it more than that, she can contribute to that. But that's what it's going to be coming from your pocket, no more than 400 And things for the house, like toilet paper and everything else necessary to survive, $100 for the household, no more. If she wants more, she can contribute it to it. But that is the max you put towards it. I think that's actually... Well, I get... Uh, <clears throat> so I have the... those. I get free lunch from work. Yeah. Uh, and that actually makes a huge difference. Oh, and I does. bring leftovers home all the time. So, um, yeah, we definitely... Like, ha- just having, like, a firm, like, okay, we're going to spend you know, 300 400 or whatever makes it a lot easier than trying to figure out... Because before I was setting it at like 200, but I was definitely overspending on lunch already, or not lunch, but food already. Uh, I've only been working the job I'm at now currently since last summer. Um, and so that's also a big factor because before that I was making a lot less. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Any other minimum monthly expenses that we can think of that you must take care of? Not really. Okay. This comes out to 2,559. The good news is you have $2,000 left. Yes. That's fantastic. Right now, it's getting burned. Yes. And that's my problem because I see that. Like, I've, I've written that out, and I'll be like, I have, I should have more money, and then it just kind of goes poof. You do. I'm okay with getting the lunch and getting reimbursed by the company. We're totally good with that. Yeah. Make sure you're tracking it very clearly and get that money back on a monthly basis or whatever the the thing is get it back as soon as you can because right now you're also a couple months behind on that Mm -hmm. and you know money the amount of money that you spend on food so whatever it is take that deduction yeah anything else beyond that unless again she wants to pay for it or you guys do free stuff there is no fun there's no going out to eat there is nothing until your crap is cleaned up it does not exist you just can't and with $2,000, we can make a big difference here. Big difference. What I would do is immediately get rid of those two small collections. I would write a check today. You already said you would do that. Yeah. Boom, those are gone. Then with the $2,000 on a monthly basis, uh, you don't have anything in savings. So that first $2,000, I'd put in savings just to protect you. Mm-hmm. Uh, with where your minimum monthly payments are, that, you know, that'll help you survive for a month. So $2,000 is in high yield savings. Boom, never touch it. Then the next $2,000 goes to your car. Then the next $2,000 goes to your car. Then the next $2,000 goes to your car. And then the next $1,000 goes to your car. So we're like uh, end of month five at that point, Yeah, I think. That sounds right. Yeah. So... Then the car is done. And we want that to be done because of 15% interest. You're only halfway done. So a lot of the money that you're going to is starting to go towards principal versus yes. interest. However... I noticed that. Yeah. Which, so that's good. But still, with how much longer there is to pay this off and where we need to get in life and where the interest rate is in general, kill it. And you can kill it in just a few months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that pretty much... like I want to just destroy all my debt as fast as possible and in a year have like be on like the opposite side of the zero you know yeah and then the, what what i would do with those other collections the 1691 2667 13000 18000 because uh they're so young still and you want to do things that will impact your credit that you want good credit for mm-hmm. um i would save up for each of them i'd save up like half and then offer or like offer make- half okay and keep fighting with them fight them they're going to say no the first time fight okay. them you know because um, I had done that once with the I had five thousand dollars and I was and I wanted to just knock out that thirteen thousand that stupid one and I called them up and I was like I have this amount of money mm-hmm. and I just wanted gone and they said no they told me no at the so time. that's when you call so. them next month do it again they say no call them next month do it again they say no call them next month do it again tell okay. and then just do what you can to get it down if they need an extra thousand 
you know, maybe that's their negotiation, and yeah. that's fine. Obviously, never give them access to any account. Oh, yeah, never. never. I, you, uh, just, I'll just give them, I will pay them. Out there, just for anyone and everyone out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you cut them a check. So, in general, I think if you do half of this, which I think collections, collections is... Dropped the money. Oh, sorry. Collections in total is eighteen thousand. Yes, it's yeah, it's a twenty-five with the card. If you could save up nine thousand with your two thousand, so at the end of month five, if you do another five months and save up half of that, and just try to negotiate them mm-hmm. essentially. So I mean, this could be done. The debt could be gone in ten months. That's crazy. Yeah. And then call it uh, call it another six months to save up a fully funded emergency fund. Boom. I mean, you're like a year and a quarter, a year and a quarter from now, and your life is completely changed, yeah. completely That's changed. That's the dream. <laughs> it's the dream, but the a dream <laughs> is only achievable if you actually buckle down. We are both scared of that lack of self-discipline. Yes. You need to hold yourself accountable in some way. Your girlfriend holds you accountable. Friends hold you accountable. We'll hold you accountable by doing a checkup as well. But you need to start this today, and we need to say why we're doing it. If we can see the reason why we're doing it, because we're going to have such a better life, we can all get our uh, retirement on track. If we see the reason why, then every time we go to that little drive through or something like that, we're like, no, I, don't, I want to be able to retire when I'm 60. Yeah. Uh, and, well, and so, like... I am worried about a few things, especially like so like right now because of my work lunches. You know, uh, if I were to like leave, that's one of the the perks of my job are amazing, and I and I really like where I'm at, um, and I plan to be there for a, a good little while, and I'm hoping to be making more and more money the longer I'm yep. there because where I'm at, it's a software company. Yep. The I what, what I do in my company is like pretty low, so I yeah. can. I can definitely be making a lot more. Uh, I just want to get some certifications, which are paid for, uh, as long as I pass it. And uh, I'm already studying for a couple, so um, with any luck, I'll be like a this time next year, I'll be like a junior cloud engineer. And have you looked at uh, that? You know that resource I put down below that course careers. Uh, yes, I have. I also have uh, a Fizz account right now. That I was actually thinking about using oh, for just cool. work That'd stuff. That would be good with helping you spend on certain categories. Yeah, I actually, yeah. So that's my biggest problem is that, like, exp- like, I just have everything funneling through, like, one thing. And it's really hard for me to keep track when I'm already, like, feeling like I don't have a lot of time in the day. Because I, I work 45 to 50 hours a week, plus I do commission work still. Um, which, actually, I didn't really even mention that, but that's, like, an extra. I'm expecting about another 5K or so a year, this year. Last year, it was about 10K. So, okay. um, but, yeah. So, I well, just want to put all that e- Either that. way, what it comes down to here is, is this one. Now, what I'd recommend for you, uh, for other reasons than different people, I say mental health is, like, one of the most important things. I'd recommend take advantage of that health care. Just see a therapist maybe twice a month and just talk about this spending, you know, inclination that you have to spending and then talk about the situation that you're in how clearly overwhelming it is and how you want to get out of it and then she can help hold you or they can help hold you accountable yeah they can really make that i think that's the best accountability buddy you can have it's like a bi-weekly therapist and you know talk about the spending your compulsion to do so uh talk about uh, the debt that you want to get out of. You can talk about the relationship and uh, that stuff there. Um, it's, it's so worth it. And I promise that will help you get to this situation faster than you could ever imagine if you help take care of the mental health side of it. That's a good point. I mean, I've had really bad problems with accountability. That's, that's really it. Yep. I know that. Um, and I want to fix it. So that's why I'm here, you know. That's uh, a good idea. And I, yeah, whatever you do, I'm gonna follow it, like to the T. So. I hope so. People leave here with a fire under their butt, but yeah. after a month, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> so we've had one successful <laughs> story so far. Be at least the second one. Hopefully, we have yeah. more uh, I, uh, before yeah. then. But at least be the second one. Something I've been doing over the last like couple of months, at least. It, well, okay, so I own a lot of domain names, which again is another expense, but I I also sell them. So every now and then I sell one, and it kind of makes up for it. And it's just it's extra money. But um, I've got like you know I have, I have this one. I, I've been using SorryWallet.com, so whenever I type that in, it just goes to your videos. And so I do that every time I want to not spend money. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's a really good solution because then you're just like, stop going to McDonald's, <laughs> and it and it makes me not want to go get McDonald's. So <laughs> whatever you have to do, my man, I want you to do so well. So yeah, when it just again when it comes down to things, a couple things we need to check off the list: budget. We we laid out in a graph what the budget is in the video, so you'll see it. Okay, uh, and. You can write it down. I'd follow that. Make it that in your favorite budgeting app. Rocket Money, Ramsey's app. I don't care. Mint. Whatever. You need a budget. Doesn't matter. I've tried a lot of apps. I, well, actually, so my bank just started support or being supported in Rocket Money. So okay. that's why I've been using that one. And so a lot of those recent subscriptions, like Fresh Tools and a bunch of others, I actually canceled through that. Yes, I would cancel all those. Yeah. Um, so follow the budget. We need to have a very serious conversation with the girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not going to go into all that again, but sure, have sure. that conversation. You know what it is. Yeah. Um... Uh, so we're following the budget, having the serious conversation, and then we're attacking the card, uh, then we're saving up to negotiate on some of the collections. Uh, and then just kill those two small collections today because it's yeah. practically nothing. Literally doing that right after here. Beautiful. So. And um, from there, we save up the emergency fund. Once the emergency fund is saved up a year and a quarter from now, or more if you bring in some more money, um, then you're doing 20% of your post tax uh, at a minimum towards retirement and you'll be in a good place with your income if you do that I might amp it up to 25% to play a little bit of catch up okay but uh, you could do that through your 401k by maxing it out yeah you could do that by Roth IRA and then more through a brokerage you know however you want to do it I would do the Roth IRA max out and then probably just max out your 401k if you can okay uh, you might not even need to do that in order to hit that 25% but maybe you do I don't know Either way, we just need to get you in a good place where decades from now you're in a great place. And then maybe you start saving up an extra 5% of your income on the side to start saving up for a down payment on a home for when your credit's in a good place yes. and we're able to put money down on some properties. Yes. My long-term goal is I want to get my credit into a good place. I want to uh, get my own piece of property and then I would like to open up a cafe business because I'm really good at doing IT stuff. And so I just, I've just i been wanting to open up a cafe that I'm not going to name because I don't want anybody stealing my domain names, but um, <laughs> I'm trying I'm sure not to spend money. <laughs> well, I have some of them, um. but, uh, but I don't want to, I'm, I'm trying not to spend more money right now. No. So uh, like I want to be able to open a cafe where everybody just has like, well, there's a free, like, people can come get free internet and then they can give me more money and get better internet. <laughs> it's a great idea. Yeah. And uh, also good coffee, right? So, good coffee, yeah. um, which it helps that I don't drink coffee and I don't really like my like personal requirements are pretty low. I don't really, I, my car's not that bad. I, it's a Nissan Versa, right? Like I couldn't find much that was like in around that tier. Cause I, I pay, I, I got it for, I mean, I got upsold on it and it was 14,000, you know, which the only thing that stuck out to me is I, I don't know much about cars, but I do know Nissan's around that year can have some sketchy transmissions. I'd be Mine's honest. been surprisingly really, that's good. Really good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I did need new tires recently cause I had, uh, literally it uh, well, happens with every car. Yeah, yeah so it happens. Fine. Yeah. So maintenance. All right. Any final thoughts? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I re I'm following what everything that you have written down. I'm going to follow to the T. So um, the next time I talk to you, I want to have good news. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Thanks. Appreciate it, Caleb. All right, for Paul and his Hammer Financial Score, we're going to break it down by the categories and then do an aggregate for his spending in a budget. Well, he has no budget and he's overspending and he's starting with basically nothing in his checking account. Zero out of ten doesn't get much worse. Debt. Doesn't get much worse in collections and having terrible interest on the car loan. Zero out of ten. Retirement for his age. Obviously, he's very behind for his age, but he does still have some there. Two out of ten. Emergency fund. No emergency fund. Zero out of ten. Real estate. Not in real estate. Zero out of ten. So right now, Hammer Financial Score. Point two out of ten. Make sure to check out all the things like the resources in the description below, and don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.